How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week five, and your ranked Chanticleers have a home game here against Troy. 3-0 and are the Trojans. Looking like a pretty decent team, but definitely worse than the past two that we faced in Clemson and Auburn. Um, statistically, they look pretty solid, but, you know, uh, we got the man. Lee Corso on our side. I gotta, I gotta believe that he knows what he's talking about. We are a three and one. We do have a loss, but it's to a top ten. Uh, Clemson, and I just, I just don't see how we lose this. Of course, now saying that it's going to be an incredibly close game that we lose at the last second. But hey, I gotta have some confidence going in. Let's go ahead and do our recruiting before that. And uh, while we go through this, can I just say thank you once again? I feel like I do this every episode, but freaking two episodes ago i'm like ah hey we broke 400 and then last episode i'm like whoa we're like 450 we're over like almost 550 that's ridiculous <laughs> the last episode you guys have been incredible with uh definitely uh motivates me to come out and uh you know get these episodes out quicker so i appreciate that and uh hey, if you're not subscribed go ahead and hop on the bandwagon because apparently we're taking off all that being said We'll go ahead and start taking a look here at uh, our board and we'll start going through the process that we always do. Remove some guys here and there. Unfortunately, Terrence Palmer, one of those crazy centers and Justin Williams. Well, Justin Williams might be a fight, but we're not going to be able to get Terrence. So uh, we aren't looking as good as we had hoped. Michael Fogle, we're only losing 125. We will give him 250. I want to make sure that we have points left over for a little bit of scouting and some scholarship offers as well. We're at 31 guys on the board, expecting that number to drop down a bit. And we just want to make sure that these guys that we're behind on, we look okay with. So that's, I think, mostly going to be it. I will go ahead and uh, check through uh, the rest of the points that we're given, guys, and then add a couple guys to the board, and uh, we'll jump back in when we have those guys to scout. All right, so we've found our four guys that we can scout. We've got a wide receiver from Kanai, Alaska, a defensive tackle from South Carolina, a tackle from Missouri, and a corner from Florida. We'll go ahead and scout these guys. The corner first goes up to a 67 overall uh, we looked at him kind of because of his speed 93 speed 83 acceleration on the corner with a 76 man in an 80 zone i i kind of like that for a 67 overall guy i feel like 80 zone is is pretty solid play rec at 61 is a little bit weak and not the strongest guy how about the tackle dominic williams is a 69 overall uh decent run blocking Decent blocking all around. Maybe a little bit slow. 80 strength I like. How about Robert Harris? He's going to go up to a 70 overall. Uh, again, just kind of right there. Middle of the road. 84 strength is nice, but maybe his block shedding could be a little bit better. And Chad Brads Bradshaw. Goodness, sorry. Uh, this, this is the guy from Alaska. Wide receiver. We were looking at him because of his speed. He goes up to a 70 overall. 94 speed. 83 acceleration. 93 carrying. That's going to be pretty interesting, especially for a uh, wide receiver that's very high. Although the rest of his running abilities aren't as crazy. A 56 catching is... Oh, that's, that's not great, but maybe the speed can be enough. We'll go ahead now and offer scholarships. Normally, we do it to guys that we're in the lead with. Right now, we're going to do it to these good players because we have some ridiculously good players on the board here. I mean, if you just look at our top five, 77 overall and above. Uh, so we're just going to offer these guys. Justin Williams, we're not too close. We could, I guess, do this in the top school. Which one? One of these we can offer a scholarship. You would think I would know how to do this game or play this game now. Uh, Roger Reed is a Juco cornerback, but he's 78 overall, which is pretty fantastic. Um, he's going to go ahead and get a scholarship. Roy Jones is a 78 overall defensive end. We're in third place, but trailing Clemson and Alabama and in the mix with Oregon and North Carolina. So that's going to be a tough pickup. Um, Neil Boone. We're only giving him 50 points a week, which is pretty impressive. 77 overall outside linebacker. He's going to be a true freshman. Uh, we're in the lead with him. We've already offered him his scholarship. Calvin Morris, we're a little ways behind with the guard. He's a Juco. We are gaining on people. But that's kind of where that's sitting. And now those crazy good players we've offered, we're going to go ahead and 
Uh, who should we focus on? Let's try to lock in Neil Boone because a 77 overall linebacker that, you know, would probably improve minimum into the high 80s uh, by the time his senior season comes around is going to be a massive pickup. So there's the rest of our points. And to finish this out, we've got three guys ready for their visits. So we'll go ahead and schedule Frank Bryant. Um, we're going to go, let's see, if we're in the lead with them, we're going to bring them early. If we're not, they're going to go late. So ECU is who we're battling here, and we're going to go want to go late against them. Tom West will come this week, and Bryant McIntyre will come this week. So that's pretty simple for us. The later the visit, the better I think it'll be, especially against ECU. But let's, uh, let's make this game against Troy worth a little bit more for us. Get these visits going and see if we can get some commits. Now, we took a look at the top 25 at the end of the last episode, but we'll go ahead and just see real quick here if there's any, like, ranked matchups. We have number 12, USC, playing a number 14, Oregon. Ducks are 1-1. One one. Who did they lose to? Was it Wyoming? It was something that shouldn't have happened yet. 41-20 to 20 against Wyoming, and then they were able to beat their FCS team. So that's a shame. Uh, and USC just lost to Oregon State, but, uh, you know, went to overtime against a 1-2 Cal. Uh, and then did what their work against bad teams in Fresno State and Boston College. Um, any other ranked matchups? Tennessee and Auburn will be playing, and West Virginia and Oklahoma State. So, some interesting moves here. We just want to keep winning and see if what happens this season, if, if our rank can continue to improve. And uh, with that being said, let's hop into this game against Troy. They're coming to uh, our home turf. We're just going to wear the, well, let's put on, let's go with the black pants on this one. Or the black jersey. I, I, yeah, that'll work. Uh, 84 overall for Troy as, you know, they're not necessarily updated. We're going to let them wear their standard away uniforms. Um, but yeah, 84 to our 81 on the overalls. We have the slight edge in 83 to an 81 on offense. And they have a big advantage, 88 to 80 on defense, but we just uh, we just took down a really good in the 90s Auburn and took it down to the wire against a 99 across the board Clemson. So let's hope that we can you know play to our potential here. Troy is coming in with a very mediocre offense. They run the ball very well though, and we have a very good rush defense. Defensively, they are technically uh, second in the country, but that's through three games. They've only uh, allowed an average of nine points fourth in the country in yards allowed and passing yards allowed so maybe we try to find some success on the ground but uh, Grayson McCall is going to have to be on his game today we're going to look for those four swatted passes and two interceptions and hopefully we don't have to settle for a field goal of 40 or more yards for Bryant McIntyre's visits uh, but but their top plays oh my goodness uh, Marshall 96 overall and then they drop back down into the low 90s but uh, linebacker left end strong safety a little bit scary for us let's get into this one it is a beautiful uh sunny afternoon here at brook stadium we'll go ahead and see are we gonna get lucky enough to win this coin toss they choose tails which yeah unfortunately never fails so they're going to get it and uh they will elect to kick the ball off which means we're starting this game with the football so that sends aaron Diggs back to return what can we do here? Definitely one that we're going to bring out. Fielded a yard inside the end zone. Maybe feeling a little, bit, a little bit sluggish right now. But Diggs, okay. We're not playing against the crazy speed that we've seen. So he's able to get us to the 35-yard line. Uh, Reese White back in after his injury. Which is so nice to have our starter back. We know that Baden Pinson can get it done. But it's nice to have uh, a little bit of extra talent with Reese. It's five there. And we'll go ahead and see the read option. If Dion Fountain holds his block, this could be a big one as Grayson McCall keeps it running from a line and he picks up a block, crosses midfield, and slides down for a cool first down. 47-72 uh, to 72 on the season with 665 yards. No devil here. Let's see if we can get a few more touchdowns. Maybe avoid the picks as well. Uh, we will go to the air as we have cross midfield. A play action pass. Grayson looking for it, looking for it. Nobody coming. I got to get rid of this one. Thankfully, Bedgood's in the area. No intentional grounding, but uh, not starting off well. 0 for 1 through the air on our first attempt. Well, the running seemed to do pretty well. Let's go ahead and just give it back to Reese. The Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the line getting great blocking. Reese got 70 yards easily. 
Maybe it's just that Troy hasn't really played anybody. And that's why their defense looks so impressive because, uh, well, 28th or so rush defense in the country. They've given up 17 plus yards on just a uh, couple of plays. Gonna just continue to hand off the ball here until they really, really sell out to stop. And I think this is maybe a, a decent time to throw. They're playing pretty far back on the coverage, so we'll look for the curls. Javon Hiley is there. The juke works, and Javon's going to just waltz into the end zone. That was a quick 34-yard touchdown pass to end what was a pretty quick drive, all things considered. 7-0 for Coastal, just like that. And how about this move from Javon? The, uh, the beautiful little juke. We don't see that often from my user, but hey, we got it done. The defense now gets the chance to step out onto the field for the first time. Four wide for Troy. They will go with the play action, and they put it in my area, but it's too close for the pick. And we'll see a quick uh, six-yard gain on first down. This is going to be a handoff to the running back. One of their impact players, Gunter's there for this tackle for loss. And like it always seems, we're playing another team run in the hurry up, so they step back to throw on this third down. And wow, Matt holds on to that one through the contact. And this is a ridiculously quick hurry up. I've got no time for my commentary between plays here. First and 10 expecting maybe a bit of a pass. We're trying to bring the pressure. Sidney McCrae with a massive hit stick, but Marcus Rogers holds on to it. And we're just going to continue to go. See if we can stop these guys. There's the handoff. It's a counter. Oh, I absolutely bit on the uh, little misdirection from the running back. And DK's got 19 yards. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some pressure on this first down. See if we can maybe get to this quarterback. He does step back to throw. Watson scrambling. Sidney McCray. And I don't know who else was there for the sack, but we get it. And it was Joel Hall. One of our tackles. We'll see now if we can stop him. Second and 11. It slowed him down a bit. Waiting and waiting and waiting. And quarterback just throws this one out of bounds. So third and long for Troy thinking maybe we've slowed these guys down just enough that uh, you know, defense is able to get themselves set and get back into the game a little bit better. This is going to be a halfback slip screen. We're there with Porter to bring it down for a loss of four. Easy read on that one, and uh, we'll hold them to maybe a long field goal attempt. It is an incredibly long one. They're looking for 55 yards, so we've got digs back to the get the return. Maybe a kick six on this one? No. This kicker has one hell of a leg, had the distance, but pushed it wide. So uh, defense gets the stop, and we've got a chance to extend our lead. And you can't be surprised that I'm going to do this. We're going to go for this one. And depending on what happens to Bedgood, Bedgood is maybe open. This is a terrible throw. Bedgood, though, catches it in stride. And the strike works for 47 yards on first down. Oh, my goodness. Just like that, we're inside the red zone. I thought for sure that the safety was going to get there and pick it off, but McCall showing a little bit of strength in the arm, gets it away in time, and uh, gets us in a good spot. White only able to pick up a yard. That was good uh, rush defense. And the curls have been working really well for us, so we're going to go back to it. Dion Fountain gets the touchdown. So we've thrown to two curl routes in this game, and it's resulted in two passing touchdowns. Grayson McCall now 3 of 4 on the day. And, uh, hey, a little bit of a late hit there, but we extend the lead to 14. The zone worked really well for us on the first drive, all things considered. Got them to miss the field goal. We're going to try a little bit of man defense here and see what we can do. They throw to the running back who was out of bounds when he caught it. Looking now on second down. This is going to be a screen. The blocking is pretty solid. Spill him, maybe slowed him up, and <laughs> they almost got enough for the first down. We're going to bring a massive blitz here. The hurry up just continues. It's honestly a little bit frustrating. I'm going to call this a run up the middle. We're going to bring a massive amount of pressure. Hopefully it is a handoff. We're there with Spillum. He just bounced off us, though. <laughs> just like that, Billingsley has seven yards. We brought the house, and he just ran through it. Oh, that's a, a really unfortunate play. We'll only give up two on the preceding one. But, man, I thought we had the stop. Instead, now with second and eight, as they've kind of reached midfield, I was supposed to be going on a blitz. I'm going to drop back into coverage, and uh, yeah, the blitz wasn't necessary. It's our second sack of the game, and another third and long. That one just happened to be Joel Hall's second sack of the game. Uh, he's got both of them, so, and of course, they're going to the screen again. Can we get there? The blocking is okay. The running back, DK Billingsley, made a good cutback, but still fourth and four here, and it's going to be a punt 
from Troy here, just at about midfield. Maybe had to be a little bit worried for them going for this, and that's not a very deep punt, so very returnable for Diggs, who we all know is incredibly dangerous. He's getting some blocks. One of the men just uh, took out another one, so we got a decent return, and once again, starting with great field position here. When we have big plays that set up some momentum at the start of our drive, I like to capitalize on this. We're looking maybe for Dion Fountain on that deep route once again, or maybe we just stay patient, find Javon Hiley for the quick 14-yard first down, and end our quarter there, because this clock's going to run out, and, you know, we're up 14 on fine. Just going into the second quarter. They do get the ball to start the third, but, uh, man, maybe if we just open up a big enough lead, it won't matter. End of the first, 14 nothing. To start this second quarter, we'll go ahead and hand it off to Reese. Maybe, uh, ooh, maybe not the best idea. They're doing a really good job stopping our runs uh, after that first drive. Loss of one there. All things considered, we've been moving the ball pretty well, but uh, they're doing a pretty solid job. There's Javon Hiley just rolling guys over. What a play from Javon. Can he get in? No, I was hoping for the stiff arm cheese. He just turned to a new... Uh, he's a boat. What? <laughs> I can't believe that. Just mowed him over. An absolute bulldozer. He's got me at a loss for words. Three guys in a row picked up the block, and just like that, it's a first and goal. He lined them up like bowling pins on that one and just, uh, you know, made it look so easy as McCall keeps it on the read and gets to the goal line. That might be one of the most impressive uh, things that I've seen happen from one of our players is we'll just let Reese White maybe get into the end zone. Another stop there at the goal line. A little bit worried that we're not going to score here. We're just going to go ahead and run another uh, halfback dive here and White needs to... Oh, man, he needed to break that. That's a loss of yard, fourth and goal. I'm going to go for this. I want the touchdown for sure. Even if we don't get this, I guess they're in bad field position, but I don't know why I say that because every time we put them, you know, in, you know, danger of getting a safety, they always get a big play. So we got to hope that this goes in. Grayson McCall, oh, good. Good little cut back into the inside because there were defenders waiting for him, but he's in. It's his third touchdown of the day, and just like that. You know, midway through the second quarter, we have a 21-point lead. So the defense has had a perfect game so far in terms of uh, allowing points. I'm curious to see if it can continue. Quarterback scrambling. This could be a big one. He's not sliding down, though, and oh, I was hoping maybe we could pop the ball out. Turns into a fantastic scramble, a quick first down, and uh, we're going to rush five on this one. They go with the quick throw, and I don't know if we got a hand in there or if he just dropped it, but second and ten nonetheless. We'll definitely continue to dial up this blitz as uh, we need to make sure that we're doing as much as we can. Man, wide open. I think that was me. I tried to do a little hot route, and I think I screwed everything up, but the quarterback just missed his man. And that's going to go ahead and give us a third and 10 to work with. 3.43 left in the half, and it's another screen on third down that goes nowhere. They lose two yards, and we're going to get the ball on a punt here. So, again, Diggs back to return. Uh, I think they have the wind coming at them here, too, so that'll help. It's about five miles an hour. And we'll see. Maybe if we can get something on this one. We need blocks. Are we going to pick up enough? That looks pretty solid. Diggs cutting it back inside. And once again, fantastic field position to start with, this time across the 50. If you are the Trojans at this point, I got to say, definitely worrisome. Doesn't seem like you've got a whole lot to do to uh, compete with us uh, as Reese White picks up four. And it certainly seems like it's going to take one hell of a halftime adjustment to uh, get back in this one. I thought I called the pass, but we'll run the uh, the little handoff to Reese White and let him get us another six yards on a third and one. Why not? On third and one, we'll go ahead and give him the hat trick on the start of the drive. Reese White. Makes a man miss, has some open space. Diving tackle misses, and Reese White with a great carry. Gets us a first and goal. Man, we're having some really big plays this game. He's up to 55 yards on just 11 carries. Two minutes to go in the half. They're bringing pressure. Risky throw. Oh, my gosh. I think Bedgood kind of ran into the safety. He showed a blitz and then dropped back into coverage. It messed me up. 
And it's got me scared, so second and goal, we're just going to hand the ball off to Reese. We're going to run this. <laughs> I don't want to throw a pick, uh, especially not this close, but... Oh, my goodness. We fumble the ball. Uh, <laughs> I guess I wasn't getting away uh, on this drive without giving up a turnover. Uh, that's disappointing. First in 10 for Troy. Well, we're expecting a run here. We'll go ahead and try to bring the pressure. They do hand it off to the fullback. And, hey, normally we give up like 20 on those plays. So they managed to pick up three yards. And they have called their first timeout. Now second and seven at the eight-yard line. Got a man in motion. And, oh, I kind of messed that up with Gunter. But plenty of pressure. Quarterback finds his man for two more yards. They get to the 10, third, and five. We are going to bring a lot of pressure. Expecting a pass on this one. They put it on the ground. Plenty of room to work with, and he's still on his feet. DK Billingsley has some really strong running. They go back into the... What is this What is this lineman doing? <laughs> what just happened there? They call it a false start on the lineman. He was lined up about five yards in front of the line of scrimmage. And uh, we get the first down, I guess. Well, that was a problem I didn't expect to see in this game. Uh, I, mean, I guess that's what happened when you go with the hurry up. Nobody ready for it. We're there with Spillam, the all-user pick. He's got a foot in bounds, so we got the ball back. Turnover differential back to zero on the game, and uh, Alex Spillam. Hey, how about that? You know, you guys can clown me for my bad user, but every once in a while I do something good. And of course, first and 10 after a big momentum changing play. We're going to go right back at him, looking for bed good on the fade. Tossing up. No, McCall gets sacked. Probably for the best. I didn't want to throw another pick, but second and long now for us. Additionally, the clock is ticking down. I am aware of that. A minute and 20 to go in this half. I feel like Isaiah likely is going to be wide open, and he is. They just kind of ignored him. He couldn't hold on through the pressure, though. Should have thrown that a little bit more outside. So we've got a third and a mile here to try to convert. I'm going to sit in the pocket. There's Bedgood. With the catch and got a couple yards after it as well. First in 10. Let's go ahead and take our first time out. Not looking to screw up the clock management on this one. Wants well, to get a little bit of rest and uh, we're going to ask a lot from McCall here. Dropping back to throw. Tight end over the middle was wide open. I say he likely should have had the touchdown, but it's batted at the line. And Bedgood has a dislocated shoulder, so he'll be out for a quarter. Uh, second and 10. We're going to have to throw up again. And there should be another touchdown. Okay, Dion Fount does hold on to that one. We're just uh, picking apart the zone right now. Grayson McCall, 7 of 11, his fourth touchdown of the day. And uh, we're going to go up 28-0. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Bedgood rest. We don't want to hurt that injury. Maybe a little bit of a uh, new graphics update glitch with the coaching decision there at the top. But, you know, uh, I'm not expecting this to be perfect. It's beautiful the way it is. <laughs> 28 to 0, a minute left in the half. On first and 10. These guys, I'm expecting, are going to try to bring some pressure. Oh, I love my zone. That's on me. Should have been there for the uh, the defense, but missed. So this one, maybe uh, not working as well as we were hoping. Trips left showing for these guys. We'll go ahead and try to help contain that. Gunter is one of our best guys to do so. Quarterback's going to scramble early, though, and we ooh, maybe would get called for targeting in this day and age. But the QB is going to go ahead and slide down on second and four, though. We're bringing pressure, and two guys wide open. Was hoping they would get in each other's way as we knock Lacey out of bounds again. 40 seconds to go. Thankfully, Troy only has one timeout, but I'm really hoping that we can get the stop here. I want the shutout on the game. Not sure where it's going to come from. I see one deep. They see one deep as well. <laughs> and my goodness, Orlando Lacey picking us apart. 33 yards there. Gets him a first and goal. We need the interception now or maybe some sort of mistake. Uh, quarterback scrambling. Oh, I really wanted to strip the ball. We do get the sack and the clock is moving. Continue to bring that pressure. We know it's going to be a pass. I think actually that's a school record for sacks in a game. Uh, for our man as quarterback scrambling again and another big hit clock still moving 15 seconds They have to be real careful here. This guy is looking to run early He is gonna see this entire sequence because they're not taking timeouts in there and they're hurry up and there it is Luke Whitmore in the back of the end zone wide open for the touchdown with six seconds left in the half So Diggs will be back. We're up 21. They get the ball to start the third quarter we're going to see if we can maybe take this uh, all the way to the house. 
Obviously, that's the goal on almost all of these, but oh, that was bad running for me with some weird blocks. Two seconds, though. We have a Hail Mary here. Well, let's hope that somehow one of these guys gets burned. I don't expect it to happen. Trying to extend this one, and I just didn't even get the pass off. So, oh, we'll go into the locker room at halftime up 21, but honestly, I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. I feel like uh, it should be a 28-plus point lead right now, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. Just got to, uh, you know, do as, do what we did the second half, and uh, let's get out of here with an easy win. I want to see maybe the backup offense come in. Defense has to do their job, though, to open this quarter up. That is probably not going to be returned, so... Troy will go ahead and start from the 25 to kick off this third quarter. In the flurry that was that uh, final possession for Troy, where they scored the touchdown before halftime, Joel Hall did set a new school record for Saxon game at three. And Orlando Lacey just continues to eat us up right now in the receiving game. Second and six, he's lucky, or we're lucky, that that one was poorly thrown ball. Here's a broken tackle, and... A quick 26-yarder across midfield. Troy has maybe made the uh, right adjustments there, attacking us through the air, which is obviously going to work better against us. And maybe we can just hope for a turnover. Looking to uh, strip the ball from this quarterback, but he stumbles forward and gets six. Second and four, we're going to bring a big blitz right up the middle, see what we can do. It is a handoff, which works perfectly for us, and a loss of three. So third and seven, maybe a chance to get off the field for the defense. Just got to contain that uh, line to gain. Their blocking is really good. Oh, and he just falls forward for eight when he needed seven. That's a disappointing play. And on first down, we're going to see another pass. Running back motions to make it five wide. Quarterback scrambling. And he took a bit of a hit, but still got five yards. We're going to be running a little bit of a QB spy now. The way that these guys are playing and trying to wait. Oh my gosh, the man sees uh, Luke Whitmore get wide open for a quick first down. Now we just got to hope that something better can work. This is going to be a run. That's not going anywhere. So we can now like stop the run, but when they go to the air, we get obliterated. <laughs> this is a little bit frustrating. Second and 11, trying to find some sort of stop. As they throw up one, and it'll, it's too long. We're going to get called for a pass interference, though. Alex Spillum just hit him. It was an uncatchable ball. Oh, but we're giving him a free 15 yards. This drive has gone terribly for us. They're going to go to throw. They find the running back. Shelton able to stop that from becoming a touchdown. We're going to just go ahead and continue to try to bring pressure on these plays. Second and goal. They step back to pass. Man wide open in the quarter of the end zone. It's only a 14-point game here. Offense better be on fire here. So Diggs again back to return. He's gotten his great field position every time he's uh, pretty much touched the ball all game. So we'll hope that we can see that again. That's great blocking. That might be enough. Diggs racing down the sideline in a foot race. I don't think he has enough to take it all the way. But he's got us almost to the 25. And I don't think it's going to take a whole lot for the offense. We're going with a play-action pass to open this drive up. See if we can bait them in. No, I'm not quite seeing it. Not quite seeing it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we should have been able to make something out of that. That's a shame. Our attempts downfield have not been the best this game, but I get to continue to look. Here's a handoff to Reese White on second down. Didn't get as much as we want, and we've got a third and seven to contend with. We'll go to the air on this one. See what we can find. Bed goods open. Just slotted into the zones after getting jammed up at the line, and it's a quick first and goal. That was nice. Grayson McCall may be looking for his fifth touchdown of the day on this read option. He's going to get the chance, and he's going to get in. Diving for the touchdown, probably unnecessary, but we wanted to make sure we answer back real quick. 35-14 now. First and 10. The defense has struggled the past couple of drives. Can we get it? We're bringing a lot of pressure. Kind of expecting a run. It is a draw to Billingsley, and we eventually start to bring him down, but he stumbles forward for six. I am getting really tired of this crap. It just keeps happening. Second and four, they go back to pass. This is a man open. Mats gets there right as the ball does, but can't jar it free. And the defense just continues to give up yard after yard. Another first down. This one's going to be a handoff. We read it correctly, but he goes to a different gap. And he breaks a couple tackles in a foot race. We are not going to be able to catch DK Billingsley. 
Oh my gosh, too easy, the 58 yard touchdown. This one's turning into a high scoring affair real quick. Well, the good news is that our special team seems to be doing pretty well this game, so we get to see Diggs with another return. Uh, the question is, will it be as good or better? It's looking pretty solid so far, trying to get one guy to miss with the back juke, but it's not enough. Uh, still good field position here. With how quickly Troy is scoring, added on to the fact that they've been running the hurry up, we got to make sure that we also continue to score because if we don't, this game could be ugly in a hurry. With two minutes left here in the third, actually thinking maybe we start to uh, look towards just uh, throwing this one away. This is a risky ball. We're looking for bed good. He can't come down with it. Oh, you just had to hope he hold, held on to it. But it might just be time to burn the clock out. Who knows if we'll get to see the second string, the way that these guys are playing. Third and five, I try to run and we don't get enough. Fourth and three, I got to go for this. Our defense just hasn't given me enough to, to feel confident here. So we're going to go ahead and go with the five wide pass. I'm going to scramble because they're bringing pressure. And there's Isaiah Likely. He was short, they say. Oh, my call just threw it behind him. I might have to challenge this. I got to just hope. I feel like maybe the ball was at the line of Kane, but it's worth the challenge to me. Let's see. Oh, they don't really show us what we're supposed to get because now it's showing the other side. But I just don't see how the ball isn't far enough forward when he catches it. What have we got? Oh, come on. So we lose the timeout. The play stands. And the defense has to come out. What we've been doing on defense has not been working. So we're going to just go ahead and go into the 3-3-5 and see if maybe that the defensive adjustment helps us. They do lose a yard there. And I guess at the end of the day, we would have been much better off just punting it. But that just is what it is. Kind of expecting a run from Billingsley here. They will, no, they're going to step back to pass. There's an open man. We're there, though, with Gunter, so we do have them in a third down situation. We'll definitely be rushing on this one. I think four-man rush could be enough. Can we get in there? No, this one's deep, and they find Whitmore. Luckily, we get the tackle, but it's a first and goal. I swear, doesn't matter how big of a lead we have. Every game in this dynasty is destined to be close. First and goal, 30 seconds left in the quarter. They hand it off up the middle. We will temporarily stop them. And this is another handoff up the middle. We didn't have a chance really to get set. I should have taken a timeout, but two-yard touchdown run for DK Billingsley. And just like that, it's a one-score game. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. All right. Diggs needs to give us good field position, but if the offense can't execute, we're in trouble. This uh, probably shouldn't be brought out. But with how good we've been returning it all game, I'm going to give him the chance. And he's broken free. Can we get another block? The diving tackle. The shoestring saves it. Still great field position again. There are 10 seconds left in the quarter. And we do have the lead. I am going to just try to burn this clock. We're playing not to lose, which a lot of coaches try. And it usually doesn't work well for them. Although Grayson McCall. Oh my gosh. Thank you for not fumbling that, Grayson. 23-yard rush right there. That's fantastic, and it's going to end our third quarter. So up a touchdown. We were up three going into the half, but uh, a big ha a big third quarter from Troy uh, makes this a close one, but we'll see what we can do here in this fourth. Reese White, his first game back, has been doing a decent job, but he's having a tough time. That's a great run to start the quarter. Immediately gets the first down. No reason for us not to continue this. I don't want them to have the ball again, and if they have it again, I want it to be uh, with us having a two-score lead. Unfortunately for us, that means that we do have to continue to play well here on offense. And on second and nine, we are going to run again. The counter could have been good, but the blocking just wasn't quite there. Third and six, I think we might have to pass here. Maybe not being able to burn off as much clock in this fourth quarter as I was hoping, but... If we get a fourth down, we're kicking the field goal. We will make it a two-score game. And there's Deion Fountain, but he's short of the line to gain fourth and one. But we got to kick that field goal now. Oh, my goodness. I hate this. Please do not miss this. Uh, Yeah, okay. We got it. <laughs> I'm always worried I'm going to choke on one of those. It's a 10-point lead, 335 to go. Please, defense now. Do your job. Biscardi's going to boot this one away. I have a feeling it's a returnable ball. Ooh, that was way short trying to give it a bunch of hang time so maybe we could put them in a bad spot but it was 
too much hang time. Uh, I think we still kept them inside the 25. These guys are going to start their drive at the 22. So yeah, three yards shy of that 25 if they took a touchback, which is good news for us. And uh, well, that's not great news. They got three yards uh, on that first down. Gonna bring the blitz now on second and seven. Or really a four-man rush, but watching the quarterback. There's a wide open Whitmore, but he falls down. Out of bounds, third and three, and I'm bringing a lot of pressure this time. All-out blitz. Let's just hope that uh, the safeties contain well enough. They maybe want to get into the play. That would be nice. And there's Billingsley. Nobody following the running back as he just runs out into the flat and gets the quick first down. We really just don't have an answer for these guys. Everything that was working earlier in the game has stopped working. And we get some pressure and an incompletion. We're bringing the blitz again on second and 10. See if we can come in off the edge. Quarterback needing to pick up a block from his running back. He does, and he finds, I think that's Whitmore again. Another 17 yards. We were so close. It's just not working well enough. First and 10. Quarterback finds Lacey again, who stays in bounds and gets eight yards. There's nothing. We drop back into coverage. There's a guy open, or they get a big run. We stay uh, home and try to bring the big blitz, and they have a man open. There's just nothing that we can do right now. The defense is just absolutely collapsed, and... Supposedly half of them are on fire, so I don't really know what's going on. First and 10, quarterback is scrambling again, and I just didn't expect that uh, cut. So, bad user, 21 yards. It's first and goal, and I'm taking our first time out. I, we just need a break there. We're going to bring a lot of pressure on this first down. I just got to hope that they don't uh, throw it to Billingsley. They step back to pass. We're in trouble. Here's the option, and nobody was paying attention. Spill him. Bad awareness, maybe had a chance, but it's the pitch out to DK Billingsley. And it's a three-point game with 2.20 to go. This is disastrous. All right, digs back to re return again. Goodness. Tongue tied right there. Uh, still hoping for more good field position. The blocks have been incredible. Please, no penalties. And well, we're at the 35. Can we win this game? <laughs> I knew that... When, uh, when I was feeling confident earlier that uh, that confidence was misplaced, but I'm still going to hope for a little bit here as they're going to be taking their timeouts now. If we don't score a touchdown here, I think they win the game. Unless we burn all our clock. There is a massive first down, though, and only one timeout left for the Trojans. We'll hope that Grace and McCall can hold on to this one. Second and 11. Expecting that final timeout on this one, and we're going to get a massive block. McCall, oh my gosh, almost, almost had a chance to take that to the distance. It's just not quite free. All the timeouts used up for Troy means that we can pretty much burn this clock out. If we get a first down, that's great. And hey, how about that? <laughs> Reese White got a yard and burned a bunch of time off the clock on the play, just not going down. All we need is one first down. Otherwise, it's going to be all too close for me, especially with the way that the defense has been playing. Second and nine. Reese falling forward. Got a yard, but it's third and eight. And I have to put this on the ground. We're going to try the speed option, and I'm just going to pray that it works. Bringing Bedgood in motion. Maybe a mistake there. Running, running. Grayson McCall has the first down. He slides. The defense had no idea how to defend that. And that's going to be the game. 39 seconds on the clock. We can just go ahead and kneel this one out. 38-35. Uh, and you know what? We're actually going to bring in a bad manners kind of play. Um, we'll take the timeout here with a second to go. We're going to kick a field goal. Uh, we Remember, we still have... A kicking prospect here who wanted to see a 40-plus yarder. Well, we have the perfect opportunity to kick a 48-yarder as time expires. It'll make our margin victory look a little bit better. It'll make the recruit like us, and we get that extra 10 XP at the end of the game. So 41-35, a uh, closer game than it looked. Uh, it's still just all too close. We were up, what was it, 28-7 at one point? 21 nothing. Well, we, we get the win at the end of the day, and, uh, man, <laughs> that was a tough, tough second half. This is a team that took Clemson down to the wire and beat a, a top 10 Auburn, and we just struggled there. 
Uh, we moved to four and one on the season though, and Grace McCall player of the game with a ridiculous amount of uh, touchdowns. And well, let's just move on to the next one. Get uh, get our bowl eligibility real quick here if we keep winning. And we can go ahead and see what happens. Uh, good on turnovers. We barely win the time of possession. They had 17 first downs. They rushed for more than us. They passed for more than us, although our special teams did put our offense in a better position most of the time. How about that second half? Or more more specifically, the third quarter. 21 points for Troy in the third quarter. All but eliminated uh, our lead. And we had to settle for two field goals in the fourth quarter. Uh, player of the game, though. Grayson McCall threw for 208. Um, rushed for 64 picked up five touchdowns and Joel Hall three sacks on the game the only thing that he contributed really besides obviously pressures and whatnot uh we're getting sacks on that quarterback which is absolutely fantastic I'm glad that we won that one that was all too close but we moved to four and one we should stay ranked thankfully and we'll go ahead and advance the week here we've got to buy we can rest up after the chaos that was the beginning of our season and uh, we'll take a look what happens in the top 25 this past week. Oh my gosh, I'm just noticing this. A small detail that people might miss. That loading wheel has changed. That is a graphics update. So that's <laughs> just a small little detail the mod team has provided. So kudos to them. That's pretty cool. Our two visits went pretty well. 400 and 550 points for the free safety and kicker respectively. We've got uh, five more guys ready to come visit here, including Roger Reed, the 78 overall corner. I'm excited. I think that we can bring in a lot of solid players. Um, we get a bunch of XP, and we're ranked 20th with the bye week here. That's fantastic. It was a near disaster, as the headline states properly. But, uh, you know, uh, all that we have to do is win. How about the top 25 polls? Did Alabama lose? They were sitting at 19. Uh, we've got number one and number two in Oklahoma and Texas playing this week four in three in Miami in North Carolina uh 24 and eight they will all play how about the losses though USC loses to a now number 12 Oregon so the Ducks after losing badly to Wyoming to open up their season have kind of bounced back they're two and one did we see anything else yes number 10 Alabama loss to uh Ole Miss and we had Texas A&M losing at Arkansas. Tennessee loses in overtime to Auburn. And Minnesota lost to an unranked Indiana. Any teams dropping out? Yes, Oregon State must have lost after their big win against USC. USC's had a couple of bad losses to the Oregon teams. And Oklahoma State drops out as well. I want to see quickly what's happening here on the Heisman list. Zamir White jumps into the top spot. Uh, and Kosi Perry, I believe that's how you say it. The quarterback from Miami is in second. We've got Elijah Collins from Michigan State up in third. Tamori on Terry, I believe that's how you say it. Um, wide receiver, which is we don't see often, from Florida State. Uh, 11 catches for 184 yards last game. That's pretty impressive. And Sarah Doric Thompson, a couple of hard names for me to pronounce. <laughs> a guy from Texas Tech, the running back. They're in fifth. Uh, decent 16 carry, 146 yard game last week for him against uh, Texas. Well, it was Texas State. But uh, already we've seen some big shakeups here in this Heisman watch list to start the season. And Grayson McCall. This is the first time I've shown it because it's the first time it happened this season. Uh, is a Sunbelt Player of the Week. The Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, again, the new graphics update, not perfect. Maybe the uh, the text, the font on the, on the player names in this Player of the Week is a little bit hard to read, but it's glad to see that our redshirt sophomore quarterback, we have him for two more years, is uh, getting some recognition. That's going to go ahead and uh, do it for us here today. Number 20, we get the win, uh, however close it may be. And uh, we moved to four and one, so fantastic. And uh, just like the the team is doing great, so are you guys. Oh my goodness, thank you again for the support on the last video. It's been incredible. Welcome everybody who has subscribed recently. And if you haven't, please feel free to hit the button. Um, it helps me out a ton. It's free to do. And again, if you end up not liking my content in the future, maybe if you get tired of me, maybe if you start to hate my voice, it's always free to unsubscribe as well. And you can also hit the like button uh, if you liked it, or maybe, you know, hit the dislike if you think that my user is absolute garbage. 
But again, thanks for uh, sitting through another one. Uh, you can find us a couple places on the web as well. We have our Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. If you want to follow us there, we're live every once in a while doing some more sports game content. We've got our Twitter and community Discord. Those links are in the description down below. But otherwise, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks again for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.